Hey friends, so I am very happy to tell you that at last Ultra Dynamic Sky for Unreal Engine 5 has been released by Everett Gunther. So you can check out what's the new update, I mean what are the new features in the update history. And let's get started with this. So I have a landscape here with Pressify landscape material. So the first thing I'm going to go and do is duplicate this landscape material because I don't want to edit the original. I'm going to name it as dynamic and save it. And now I'm going to go to the landscape material instance and first I'm going to remove these grass and rocks. I don't want those. Okay, and now I'm going to point this the parent of it towards my new uh, material that I've created and save it. Now let's add ultra dynamic sky to the map since it's all no lights and very dark here. And I'm going to add sky and weather. Okay, I'm going to you, as you can see, the weather type has changed. Now it's all data asset. And if you scroll down, you can see some new weather like sand, dust. It's basically sandstorm that happens in desert. You can try this out and wow, I can't see anything. Uh, it's a rain of sand. Well, anyway. Uh, I really like this new update as it is way more nice. The style is way more nice. And now I'm first going to start by going to my landscape material and go to my newly created material. Just like before, I'm not going to do any updates to these. You can try updating it on your own later but for now i'm going to simply extend this the first thing i'm going to do is add a reroute node and then from here i'm going to before i put this to the output i'm going to first set set some of the attributes so why i am using set material attributes is because it only allows assigning values to specific inputs on material attributes any unconnected inputs will be unchanged so basically i'm not going to change any output output mask attribute so this won't be changed here i'm going to connect this to the output and make it straight now the first thing i'm going to do is break the material attributes and next to it i'm going to add dynamic landscape weather effects now we have to match the attributes base color metallic and specular roughness and normal world position offset now i've added all the attributes so now i'm going to set those in my output so i need seven of the attributes here to be set so i'm going to add seven and now there's seven attributes. So after roughness, it's going to be normal. After uh, normal, it's going to be world position offset, as you can see here. And after that, it's going to be pixel depth offset. Now I just have to connect these base color, metallic, specular, roughness, normal, world position offset and pixel depth offset. I'm going to save this. I don't know why this is all white either way. Uh, so now I've finished the basic. You can try extending this and maybe connecting these uh, Attributes. I don't know if it will work properly, but you can try this out. And now I'm going to go back to the test 
map that I had created here and I'm going to first rebuild all landscape and grass maps. Now all the warnings went away and save. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go to landscape and use dynamic material instance. I'm going to switch this on. Now go to ultra dynamic weather and scroll down. You can see that there are some more additions added here. Something like wind debris and maybe some other things you will find out later. And as you go down, you will find dynamic landscape weather effects. I'm going to switch this on and I'm going to just press the save button. Remember that if you don't know how to connect this you can always go to ultra dynamic sky and maps demo materials you can see that there are some demo materials over here this wall example is basically for a simple material which is not for landscape something like static uh, mesh will have a material on it for those how you can add uh, snow and making it wet when it's raining uh, these weather effects can be added using uh, you can see how it's connected and you can just add those accordingly and for landscape also there are distant which is basically probably distance fade and this example you can see how the connections are made and you can follow this example now I'm going to go back and the first thing I'm going to do is change the weather to rain and you can see puddles are being formed all right let's uh, play this and you can see that when you go on the puddles you are not forming any ripples on it and you are having no effect on it so if uh, the first thing you will have to do for that is add the interaction to the character i'm going to go to my third person character blueprint and go to the mesh and add here dlwe interaction now i'm going to name this as left so for each foot you have to add this so i need one for left and I'm going to just duplicate this and then I'm going to name this as right. Now I'm going to put this to its specific parent socket and I've selected DLWE right which is going to the foot right and then for the left side it's going to foot left. All right, so just this much is not enough. You will have to for more proper footsteps, footprints to be exact. I'm going to need to add this. I mean, I'm going to move this to the center of mass of the leg. Like this somewhere around there, I guess it should be fine. And same to the right. Okay, I guess somewhere around there is fine. I'm going to compile, save, and quit. Now play. And when you play, you can see those. You can see that there are ripples being formed when you move on the puddles. So let's try out the new rain thunderstorm and I'm going to play this out. Those are some seriously good effects 
and let's switch back to clear skies oh right before we do that let's try the snow and we have snow here i'm going to just go on and you can see that there's uh, trails being formed wherever you are moving and there is depth to the snow yeah you can see that your legs are go your foot is inside the snow so basically we are done with everything over here thank you for watching the video and please like uh, leave a comment about if you like this or uh, how it helped you or if you have any problems doing this and please share this video with your friends who use unreal engine